Hello. I thought it was about time I tried some of the more advanced features of the multi-wee flight controller. Uh, in particular, GPS hold is what I'm going to try. But it occurred to me that um, even without a GPS, there's some features above and beyond just regular flying that I could already try in the cheapest quadcopter here. And that is altitude hold and the heads free mode because the board that I'm using has a compass and a barometer on it. Um, so that's all ready to go. And all I needed to do was change two lines of source code in my cheapass receiver. That's the Arduino Pro Mini there. And those two modes were ready to try. So um, I thought I'd try that. And it's it's not really worth making another episode of the cheapass quadcopter build series. So I just thought I'd make this quick video as a slightly unrelated video. Anyway, so the... Um, the source code to change um, so if you if you are interested in seeing where all this comes from you'll need to check out my cheap ass quadcopter series so this is the source code from that um, but um, the way this works is I have a packet of data coming in from the NRF 24 radio module and it has a byte here which is um, has bits, two bits set in it, depending on whether these switches are on or off. So I'm using that in my fifth and sixth channels here, and I'm checking whether the bits are set. And if they're set, I'm going to make that channel 2000, otherwise, it's going to be 1000. So that's all I need to change, just those two lines of code there. And <clears throat> the effect that has on the multi Wii. Uh, I think we should be all ready to go here, yeah. So this is my switch 1, which is going to be on this channel here, AUX1. So when I switch that, you'll see that uh, that it goes from, from 1000 to 2000. And over here we have AUX2. So to get those to actually do something, as far as the multi we is concerned, you need to select some of these checkboxes over here. So for AUX2 I've selected this one so that means that when AUX2 goes high then barrow mode is going to be enabled. That's altitude hold. And for when AUX1 goes high we're going to have the heads free mode and we're going to use the magnetometer for that as well rather than just the gyro. So you can see those. Um, I've already written these settings to the to the board. So you can see when I switch the left switch on, we get these two rows showing up in green. So you can check that your settings are enabled. And over here we have altitude hold showing up there. So that's all there is to it. Um, so I, I I took this down to my test spot by the river and tried it out. And the results, to be honest, were not very impressive. Uh, I haven't done a whole lot of playing with the settings, but as far as altitude hold goes, all I could do, the best I could get it to do was with the stock PIDs, and it's managed just to stay within about three meters of the point that I started it at. So I was hoping for something better than that. Um, I have put a little bit of um, padding over the barometer here. It's just a little bit of uh, gauze kind of stuff with uh, tape on there. I think that should be enough to um, stop wind and stuff from being a, a an issue. But anyway, the altitude hold was not very good. And I found that my playing with the PID settings actually made it worse because after I tried playing with the PIDs a little bit, it went into an annoying sort of a f state where it would just go up and up and up forever, or it would go down and never come back up again. Um, and the heads free mode seemed to work pretty well, at least once I figured out how to um, how to use it, it worked okay. But unfortunately, I forgot to calibrate the magnetometer before I started, so um, yeah, the direction was a little bit off. But it worked fairly well once I figured out how to use it. Anyway, I'll show you the video that I got from uh, when I tested it outside. Okay, I'll try the heads free mode first because that's the least likely to cause damage if something goes wrong.
Am I recording? Yes. Didn't do shit. I just remembered I didn't calibrate the uh, the compass. All right, let's try. <laughs> let's try the altitude mode then. Well, not too bad. Not quite as good as, hope, as I was hoping for. It, uh, bumped into the ground a few times, but uh, this barometer is apparently not not a super great one. I think I've shielded it all right, so I don't think it's an issue with that. But uh, there you go. That's what you can expect from this board with no PID tuning. By the way, just in case anyone wasn't aware, there's this really cool free app that you can get for Android. Uh, you need a USB on the go cable and a device that supports USB on the go. Um, if you want to connect directly to it, that is. Um, and this app lets you set up basically everything that you can set up in the multi Wii config GUI. Um, and I can use this to check. Altitude minus 1.2 meters. Check if my compass is working and everything's running in that. Uh, it looks like my compass is not really set up properly. Uh, but I can check at least that my modes are working. For example, when I Borrow is on. switch that on, we see it works. Altitude minus 1.6 meters. 
Borrow is off. Maja on. Head free is on. Anyway, that's just one way you can double check that off. it's doing what you off. think it should be doing. Uh, and somewhere on one of these pages we can Altitude minus 1.6 meters. Set up PIDs for um, altitude hold here. Well, all the PIDs you can set up here, as you can see. So I'm just going to have a, a play around with these uh, PID settings here and see if I can get something a little bit better than what I just had. Altitude minus 1.5 meters. seems to keep doing that it just for a while it's okay and then it just climbs and climbs and climbs and doesn't come back hmm <laughs> Pretty much every time it does that now, it just goes up forever. I eventually figured out what I was doing wrong with the heads free mode. You need to turn it to the side. So I start off like this and then I enable heads free mode, turn it 90 degrees to the side. And it's quite hard to demonstrate this in the video, but um, if you were to look at my fingers, what they're doing on the sticks here is I'm actually pushing forward and backwards. So pitch forward and backwards, which normally would send it going in the direction of the yellow balls, but here it sends it almost forwards and backwards. Um, but as you can see it's about 30 degrees off or so and now I'm rolling left and right but once you've become used to flying by looking at the orientation of the quad it's pretty hard to get used to this heads free mode hmm. man that's hard screwing with my brain especially when it goes behind you then you're really screwed <laughs> Well, it looks like I have a bit more research and tweaking to do before I get this altitude hold working nicely. So I just spent the last one of my batteries flying around for fun. 